beautiful time of the year. There is that buzz in the air with all the festive cheer and many events are planned to ring in the festive cheer. Uh, our, our Morning Life producer, Kirit Lola, went to experience uh, one of those happy festive events. Everyone loves a fairy tale, especially during the festive season, to bring in that happy holiday vibe. If you are in Johannesburg, why not attend the Fantasy of Lights at the Mall of Africa in Midrand? The Fest of Lights, together with a special pantomime, was assembled in a short space of time to ring in the festive cheer. They only gave us nine weeks, <laughs> which is a very short lead time to do any kind of a show. So they needed something really big. So they came up with this concept of, in that case, let's do a fantasy of light and create an entire garden of light. And here you've got acres and acres and millions of little lights and trees and, and all sorts of displays. And that was what they really required. And then it also suggested, you know, what makes it really attractive, add a, add a live show to it. This is how the pantomime came to life. We had about almost a hundred trained actors, singer, dancers uh, auditioning. And our industry, we call them triple threats. So they are the people who are equally proficient at singing, dancing and acting. They are musically theatre trained. And from that, we handpicked 18. So we really have the cream of the crop. A lot of them are young performers, uh, all professionally trained, and have done the odd musical, or have maybe just finished their studies, and there's an energy and a circus in the head that one needs for a production like this. Well, it was a great adventure because none of us have worked on the scale that we're working here, a nine foot high stage, 20 meters wide, this enormous park, 3,000 seats, 80s and lights and 104 costumes and massive, massive amount of technical and magical special effects that we are adding to this. So I had to think big in terms of how I would write this and conceptualize this and direct this so that there's something for everybody, literally for kids, for moody teenagers, for uber cool students, for, for parents, for grandparents, something that would appeal to everybody without losing intelligence. I have a wacky mind. <laughs> and we, my most important theme was I wanted people to remember to experience the magic in everyday life. It's the end of the year, people are moody, they're angry, they're tired, and I want to remind kids and adults that there's such magic around us, in creativity especially, but that we need to find the magic in what we might think is mediocrity. These two characters are the reason for the journey. I play Mandy. She is a dreamer. Always looking around, trying to find things, trying to convince this one to come with me, but she's always like, no, it's not going to work, it's not going to happen. But I think it's like sisterly love, you know, and I'm always venturing. I'm just trying to figure out what the, the world is going to give us. So that's what I play. Yeah. <laughs> I play uh, Mimi, and I'm the stubborn one that really doesn't believe, even though she tells me that there's something in this area like I keep on saying no it's not it's not true and our uncle was crazy who like how could there just be a fantasy world in the middle of nowhere yeah that's my character <laughs> every fairy tale needs its prince and princess to make everything all right again it's normally an ensemble member so it's nice to play a princess you know what you dream about doing when you're little <laughs> yeah it's been great and it's also stepping up and really having a great fun time with a character and you can really divulge into the character and not try and play the stock character. Yeah. And it's great for the young prince, he's full of adventure, he's looking out on a quest and then by accident he finds this beautiful, beautiful princess. <laughs> then he gets the kiss and she comes back to life. So yeah, it's an amazing experience. I'm really good at sleeping. It's one of my really good, you know, skills in life. So playing Sleeping Beauty wasn't, you know, it's not that difficult, you know, sleeping <laughs> or pretending to sleep rather. Um, and then I get um, a kiss from a handsome prince to wake me up from my hundred year slumber. <laughs> what was that first day of rehearsal? You're like, a kiss. And it's like, who am I going to kiss in the class? And you go through the girls like, yes, big time score. And at first one's very, very awkward. Like, shall we go in just for the kiss? Or should we mark the kiss? And I think we went in for it. And it's, yeah, it was really, we actually had a girl tonight going, ew, disgusting. <laughs> so great for the kids. And yeah, it was fun. Well, it's that magical time of the year, the festive season. So if you are in Johannesburg, why not make a round and watch this Christmas special 
making your festive season a great one. For Morning Live, I'm Kirit Lala.